Uh, this is Kevin Costner, and uh, be sure and uh, watch me on Entertainment and Sports today, if you would, please. <laughs> Entertainment and Sports today, it's a double. The wonderful, wonderful thing you do. See, that sounded good. Hi, I'm Magic Johnson. Watch all, I'm talking about all the Laker action. You hear me? Everything we do, three-point slam, dunk, fast break, uh, defense, block shots, all everything right here. On Entertainment and Sports today. What's up? I am Will. I am from the Black Eyed Peas. Watching entertainment and sports today. Stay here. Right here. Oh, yeah, baby. Hi, this is Wayne Newton. Stay tuned and watch me on entertainment and sports today. Entertainment and sports today. Hi, it's Paul McCartney. I'm Michael Caine. Al Pacino. John Travolta. I'm Matt Damon. I'm Samuel L. Jackson. It's Bruce Dern. Ben Kingsley. Sandy Garcia and Joe Mantegna. We're watching. Entertainment and sports today. Don't go away. Stay tuned for more from Entertainment Sports Today, now in high definition. Thank you. Well, good afternoon to everybody. This is Greg Pyatt once again. We are here with someone, well, quite frankly, very special. You know, there's probably, oh, it's safe to say, maybe a quarter of a million people who attend the Consumer Electronics Show. But I think it's safe to say there might only be one, maybe two Academy Award people here. Kevin Coster, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Kevin, you're here because you do something that a lot of people are probably not even aware of. You're actually a singer in a band. Yeah, well, I play live music with uh, my friends, and we've been playing around the country, kind of around the world. But I was, I was um, actually, that is my natural color. I was born blonde, and I, I suddenly decided I want to have dark hair and uh, Captain Marvel and all that. Try as hard as you can, and then forget it. Or, or another word like that. Giving the business and yourself, you know, all that you have to offer. So you, you, you must be ready to take risks. You know, it's not. It's certainly not a summer tentpole film. It's it's complex material. It's it's uh, a, a movie story. But this film almost took uh, seven to eight years to to put up on screen. So, look, I mean, for me to be able to be a producer and try to find stuff that's outside of the studio system has always been my goal. Like everyone else, the shot that I was nominated is uh, in, uh, in myself and as well as everyone else. But, you know, I, uh, yeah, the fact that I, I chose to start making different kinds of films and was allowed to be in them and was actually hired to be the coup, all of this is, you can't do anything about this. You just appreciate it and, and, and say thank you. And it's a team effort, but I was just happy that I, I got to do the film. But, you know, most people wouldn't think of me. You're in the scene, you can't really appreciate what they're doing as fully as you can when you're directing them. You could uh, have integrity of your own, where you uh, you make your own decisions. I like that idea, and and you uh, and you don't regret yesterday, but you life is in you today, and you create your tomorrows. How's that? That sounds good. Hello, I'm JJ Casper here with Three Doors Down. How did you arrive at at Three Doors Down? Well. Uh, <laughs> Lack of options. <laughs> How long has it been since you guys actually formed the group? When did you guys start? What year? Oh, 1995. No. So it's been... No problem. No problem. It's getting late. Give me love. I took a step from a devil's cup. Slowly, it's taking over me. My next guest on my left-hand side, a man who is the, the most exciting figure that ever entered into a soccer stadium anywhere in the four corners of the world and uh, the most exciting name in soccer Pele <laughs> thank you Amat it's a big pleasure to me to be here with you you know uh, football soccer is so well known all over the world then I have a luck to you know, to be part of this family that's the reason uh, where we go always I have a friend this is more important in life you have the door open all over the world. Get up in the morning, do you shoot a little hoop, or is it just all business? Or? <laughs> no, I, I get up early, always about 5.30, 5.15, and then I'm in the gym in the morning time. I like to get my workout, and then uh, after that, I'm in the office all day. We have the American Canyon Running Club. With personal interest in this race, one of our athletes, Fred Mogaka, is out there running, running very well in the top four. They still have over six miles, or about six miles to, to, to travel. They've been taking on good amounts of water. They've been rehydrating. You know, the, the carbohydrates from the, the, from the carbo load dinner they had last night are now all gone. Now we're going live to New York to Crystal Heart. Oh, 
Art here in New York City. It's less about uh, football and it's more about the power and the necessity for the truth. Uh, you know, Dr. Omalu uh, suffered heavily in his pursuit of the truth. And, you know, for me, more than anything, you know, I, I'm a football dad. So I, so I love football. So for me, this is about um, informing parents and about just delivering the truth, and people will decide what they want to do with that. It's a wonderful experience. It's, 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 um, it's very, very different from our film 10 years ago. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Hi, good. Uh, so uh, this is a really unique project where you're working with Angie in a different way, not only just as, as a husband, but actor as well. What was that situation like? Well, I was just saying, I mean, it's really no different than trying to get the kids breakfast ready or, you know, it's a constant tag team with us. There was this really intriguing relationship between Ram and his transsexual Rayon. TJ, this is Rayon. Freaking homo. Oh. I really appreciated it. Called him on the weekend, Rayon would have answered the phone. Do you like this dress? We started this journey three years ago, and to be here now with, with this kind of affection and following is, is a dream. You know, every time I pinch myself, it's, it's crazy. It's a spectacular looking film. And Chris is great, and um, Natalie Portman and Tom Hiddleston, everyone by now. Just great. I think of the people um, uh, as my boss. You know, I think of them as my employer. It's so important for everybody to know what these guys go out there and do on a daily basis to provide us our freedom and the comfort that we have every day in this country. And that's also, uh, it's important to understand. Yeah, it's a uh, movie, movie's uh, really kind of, uh, you know, it's very funny, but it's also got a lot of, you know, touching moments. And I can't wait for more of both entertainment and sports today. <laughs>